value like this always adds up. <laughs> Welcome back hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from spikybits.com and today we're going to take a look at more war game exclusive upgrades. This time for AdMech, I think are a really great way to get some excellent value out of some of the existing plastic kits you might have or if you're building out an AdMech army where they just got a book recently so I could see this might pertain to a lot of people, you could probably build out some of the special weapons just in case, you know, just to kind of future proof your list. So they sent over a huge box of all of uh, these things to choose from. And today this is what we are looking at. So let's jump over to their website, wargameexclusive.com and see how they present on their site. And then we'll show them to you on the painting table too. So here it is, uh, wargameexclusive.com. They have a new upgrade on here so you can switch between currencies, depending if you want to do Euro or US dollar. I personally don't know what's going on with the UK stuff right now as far as uh, you know them shipping there. So you might have to email them. I don't know, it might just go through. Uh, but things are all in flux right now, of course. Uh, we are gonna scroll down here to, we wanna look at the mechanic adapts. Now, if you haven't seen the range of minis in here and they have a bunch of, uh, of, of cowboy hatted, uh, cybernetically enhanced uh, humans here, which are which are pretty cool. And even some, some Martians. <laughs> Seems kind of different, but but I'm liking it. And they have uh, some a sets of servitors too. We haven't gotten those yet. We showed you C E P O and some of this other stuff here in the past. And then if you get really far back here, they have like whole kits and uh, well, they used to have the upgrades for the uh, robots. There they are, the Castell and robot heads right there. If you don't like the big old uh, chrome dome, so these kits here that we're going to show you today are uh, what they call a mechanic adept Skitari extension kit. But basically, this is just to use the extra plastic arms that you're going to have whether you assemble your Skitari um, as a Vanguard or Rangers. And but I think maybe perhaps what's uh, probably a little uh, something that folks might not think about is you're going to have extra weapons in here because not everybody runs them with like the upgraded weapons or the aquabus or whatever um so i think you know even if you're like well you know what i know i'm just going to run these as vanguard or these as you know uh, the rangers you may just want to make the special weapons just in case because you don't know in the future when the faq things points go down points go up you have to change your list if you already have this stuff ready to go maybe you just got to slap some paint on it and kind of future proof your, your list that's always good now you could probably magnetize these with a 1 16th inch magnet um or 1 16th by probably 1 16th by 1 16th if i have to guess um we'll check that here in a second but what I like about these is here you can see it comes with the rove torso and it's going to come with a, a extra backpack bit right there. And they, they look great. I mean, I, I haven't gotten them in my hot little hands yet, but we got the kits right here. So I'll show you that in a second and then we'll uh, we'll build some up and, and show you exactly how they're going to look. But I think I think they're a great match if you have those plastic leftover bits, whether it's the special weapons, whether it's the normal squad weapons or you're just like, hey, I built my Vanguard. Let me just go build all my Rangers real quick and just get extra value. Now, the kits themselves are thirty dollars for the upgrade. So you're probably like, well, you know, is that a value right now? They're forty two dollars from GW for the whole kit. So it's slowly creeping up from Games Workshop. I don't know if there's going to be price increases this year, but, you know, at this point, I don't feel, oh, actually it's less than that. It's 30 bucks with shipping because shipping is about $7. Um, I thought these were $30, but they're not. So they're even less. So either way, I think it's a, I think when you, you're out the gate, 60 bucks to make two full squads of 20 miniatures. I think that's pretty good value total on the day. Jumping over to the paint table here, you can see how they're gonna come packaged uh, in a blister here, plenty of room. I've undone the staple so we can get in here. The backpacks are gonna come in a little um, plastic baggie and the rest of the torsos are going to be in here along with the bases for you to use. So checking out the uh, the detail on these before we get them assembled. They're very crisp, you know, super crisp. Lots of surface here for you to actually crack out on, do some fades, do some weathering, whatever it is. You know, a lot of times war game exclusive minis can be a little um, busy, so to speak. Uh, let's see if we can get this open here. But what I like about these is they're a little bit more uh, slim simplistic um, in their design, kind of like the original plastics 
that uh, that you're going to augment here with these conversion bits. So that's uh, I think we'll go over over top of the. I actually have one assembled here, just to kind of see and get some scale. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty close. Okay, so cool. Now let's get um, let's get some of these uh, together and see what the assembled versions look like. Here is the finished product with plastic arms, plastic head, and the resin upgrade torsos and backpack right there. So the detailing is very crisp and definitely goes along with the same quality, same kind of you know theme as uh, the the plastic bits right here. Now this is the same. bits uh, on the plastic kit altogether. So it is definitely different. It has a more of a great coat kind of robed uh, type look. Um, the arms are obviously the same, but the torsos are completely different. And then the uh, the backpack stare, you know, they're just sci-fi backpacks with some uh, some beeps and some bobs and some duders and a light and a little aerial thing. Um, but either way, uh, definitely goes together and they will, you know, not uh, stand out like a sore thumb or anything on the tabletop depending on you know which version you use right here and then here's a vanguard uh, so the vanguard's looking pretty fresh uh, with the carbine and stuff and as opposed to the uh, the ranger over here which I think is pretty neat so either way these are gonna go together very easily you don't have to match up any parts or anything here is a uh, the sergeant basically, and you know if you really wanted to, and you had an extra torso, you could just put this on it, and boom, you got a marshal, and <laughs> save yourself thirty five dollars right there. But like I was saying, if you wanted to upgrade and do um, maybe make all your like special weapons or something, just build them out just to have them just in case. These would be great extra torsos because you're gonna get those extra weapons, right? So that's just a, a cool idea too, you know, like. Maybe you buy five, five kits, so you just buy one of these sets here, and then you'll have your extra plasmas and your extra um, arquebus uh, rifles right here too. So either way, I think I think this stuff goes together very well. Um, great savings of money, and uh, definitely helps you future-proof your admec army for sure, depending on points changes and such. Because you know we keep getting expansions, we keep getting new new little army of renowns, new supplements. Points changes, FAQs, you know, stuff is always changing, so it's better off to kind of future-proof your list. Well, future-proof your minis more than your list. Uh, and this, uh, well, you know, these bits right here from Wargame Exclusive. It looks like they were designed by Army Gainer, and not Grimskull, like the uh, the Necro Cyborg ones we showed you recently. But either way, I think uh, they're all distributed from the same place. So you don't have to worry about uh, not getting them all in the same box. So that is it for this one. Uh, oh, well, let's uh, let's show you some comparisons here. So there's a Primaris, which really isn't on a scale or anything like that with the Skitari right there. And here's one of the Forge World uh, Death, Car Death Core of Krieg. So definitely all on point right there. So scale wise, and I think between the plastic and the resin upgrades, you don't have to worry about them not fitting in your current army or your new army, whichever. Um, so again, that's it for this one, I swear. Uh, make sure to head over to wargameexclusive.com to scoop up these upgrade bits or, you know, standalone bits, um, the standalone minis, you know, characters or anything like that that you might need for your army or, or something out there. There's tons of stuff over there. And it's seven bucks shipping, you know, usually comes in about two weeks. It's not too bad. But before you head over there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.